everybody, and today we are taking on Norman Osborn, aka the Green Goblin, in his risky business scenario. This will be part one of the Green Goblin scenario pack. <clears throat> we'll be fighting risky business today, and then what's the other one? Mutagen formula? Another day. So let's see what Norman Osborn has for us today. I haven't played him in a while, but I'm pretty familiar with the fight. I did play it for a little bit when it when I first got the game. So where should we start? Let's look at the main scheme first. Hostile takeover. Uh, we need to create our encounter deck with a risky business, which is here, and standard, which is here. Then we also need one modular encounter set goblin gimmicks so here is our encounter deck now it says put the criminal enterprise environment into play i have it ready here uh, shovel the encounter deck so here is the criminal enterprise environment now let's see let's look at this one first criminal enterprise enters play with two per player infamy counters on it if there are no infamy counters here, flip Norman Osborn and Criminal Enterprise. All right. So Norman Osborn has two scheme, no attack. Force interrupt. When he would attack, place one infamy counter on the Criminal Ent uh, Enterprise instead. So as long as he's on Norman Osborn form, we really can't take damage. Okay. Um, this just raises the the uh, infamy counters raise here. So if he were to attack. This gets infamy counters on it instead. Force interrupt. When Norman Osborn would take any amount of damage, remove that uh, remove that many infamy counters from Criminal Enterprise. So basically, this has criminal. This has infamy counters on it. When we attack him, he takes no damage, but we remove infamy counters based on the amount of damage we do. Once this has zero, both of them flip. And look, he becomes the Green Goblin with no scheme three attack. When revealed, de deal three indirect damage to each player in hero form. Okay? So, it also says, when... Uh, let's see. Force interrupt. Let's look at this one first, actually. I apologize. So, we flip this and it says, State of Madness enters play with two Madness counters on here. If there are no Madness counters, flip Goblin and the State of Madness. Force interrupt. When he would scheme... Remove one Madness counter from State of Madness instead. Okay? So, in this form, if he schemes, instead of him scheming, we remove a counter from here. If there are no counters, he flips back. Okay? So, we kind of want to do a big attack to him because he does have three attack and he's got um, his, you know, his boost cards. And every time he uses reveal to this form, we take three indirect damage. So we don't want to keep flipping to this form. It's just three damage all the time. So we're going to want to try to save up to a big attack and just try to burn him down. Okay. And then phase two, when revealed, we deal four indirect damage to the player. Everything else remains the same, except he's got four attack. So he's pretty strong, right? But as long you want to take him slow, you want to build up first and then attack him because while he's in this Norman Osborn form, he can't really hurt you. He can't do anything for the most part. You can lose via the scheme, but you're in hero form, you don't lose health. So the plan will be to build up a little slowly and then take him down. What happens on phase two? Oh, nothing. It's just a extra threat. So it's even like, look at that. We can just let this threat out for the most part because there is no consequence for flipping to this. It's just extra threat, right? Oh, oh, actually, I apologize. When completed, place one infamy counter on Criminal Enterprise, then discard one card from each player's deck for each infamy. It's, it's really not a big deal. So it, it doesn't really bother us if that flips either. All right, we're coming after you, Norman. And today I'm gonna to be using a Spider-Man deck, a deck that I haven't it's my first time using this deck in particular. I've used Spider-Man multiple times. He's my favorite hero in the world. I love Spider-Man. <clears throat> um, but I have never used this deck before. I created it last night. So it's super thematic. Super, super thematic. So let's see who we got. 
We have some allies, right? We have the superior Spider-Man, Otto Octavius. Obviously, we have Gwendy. We have our buddy Miles. And we have Spider, Penny Parker. And you know if we have Penny Parker, we are going to have Web of Life and Destiny because we want to play that combo where we keep drawing cards. And of course, we are going to add Warrior of the Great Web because I believe I can't play the majority of these cards unless uh, I control a Web Warrior, right? So we got to get this out before we can get our friends out, which is fine. No big deal. We're just going to look for this card. All right. Now, as you can see, we've built the Protection Spider-Man deck. I, re I, I had... Protection Spider-Man about a year ago was one of my favorite decks, but with a lot of the new cards, I've I've created something I, I really think I'm liking. All right, so we don't want to take damage at all. So to go inside with his three defense, we're going to give him an armored vest. Since we're looking not to take damage, we're going to play on Flapple to help us draw a card. Since we're not going to hopefully be taking damage, we're going to let him get Retaliate. Then, since Peter Parker sure is a genius, we're gonna get an ingenuity, right? We're gonna generate a mental resource. Since this is, all right, so we will be flowing like water as well. One of my more favorite cards recently um, when playing certain protection decks. So flow like water after you play a defense card, deal one damage to the attacking enemy. We're gonna play, we're gonna be trying to doing a lot of defense while to the villain in his villain phase. So we'll be defending a lot. And anytime you play one of these cards, he will take damage, okay? We have Defiance, three copies of that. We have three copies of Expert Defense. We have three copies of Desperate Defense. So we are looking just to defend, 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 and to help control the threat, we've got two copies of Hard to Ignore. If we can't take any damage, We'll control that threat, right? And our resource generators. So I'm looking forward to trying this out. I do believe this is a much upgraded version of the protection deck I, I created not so long ago. Hey everybody, and welcome to D-Pad Experience Presents Marvel Champions. D-Pad Experience is a weekly video game podcast published on all podcast platforms. All right, round two. <laughs> he did not beat me in the last game. What happened was, I think I was on the third turn, and I went to play the uh, like the Warriors of the Great Web card, and then realized I had Gwen Stacy out since turn one, and I wasn't allowed to have her out because I wasn't technically a Web Warrior at that time, which is nonsense, because I'm Spider-Man, I'm the freaking Web Warrior. Um, and I didn't really feel like resetting the whole thing even though i was having a, a really good game because it was just too much to reset i had like an engine build but you don't want to hear that i just want to tell you what was happening all right so you know that if we're playing green goblin we're going to be using spider-man there's no world that i wouldn't use spider-man against norman osborne no world spider-man is my favorite hero of all time let me take a, a second to show off my favorite things that I own. I have my Secret Wars number eight, first appearance of the black costume. And then I have my Amazing Spider-Man 300, first appearance of Venom. Spider-Man is and always has been my favorite. So yeah, we're going super thematic today. And next time we would do the mutagen formula. But for now, let's see if we can beat Norman. All right, we're drawing up to six. That's four five and six all right we have a lot of good cards here and we all right we're gonna be holding on to a bunch because some of these are just too good to not all right like these three are key to our game all right when i need to flip aunt may will be there to help me so i gotta keep that these three are just key to winning the game so we'll use these two to pay for our ingenuity. Uh, and then we will 
and we can use this still. So we'll use his generator resource and exhaust here. Actually, no, I don't think I'm gonna bring out Black Hat yet. Maybe I should. Uh, the reason why I'm thinking about not bringing out Black Hat, actually, I'm not gonna bring out Black Hat. Uh, I'm gonna use his resource to bring out Aunt May, Exhaust Ingenuity, bring out Hard to Ignore, and then I'm gonna flip. The reason why I chose to do that is because if I brought Black Hat out, I'd hold these two in my hand and I'd have a less of a draw on the next turn. So I'm, I did that so I have one less card so I can draw more. All right, it's my turn. I'm not gonna attack yet because if I do, he'll flip to Green Goblin and I'm not ready for that yet, but I will take one threat off the main scheme. And I am done. So now we're gonna draw up to five, two, there we go. Three, four, and five. All right, mainly useless, but what are you gonna do? Well, ready up. This will go to two. This goes to three. Here comes our encounter card. He attacks me, but he can't, so this goes to four. All right. Now it's our turn. <clears throat> We're going to bring out Black Hat, who has two health. We will. We're not. We don't need these. I'll discard them later. Um, I'm going to attack for two. Attack for one, she takes no consequential damage because she just doesn't take consequential damage. Oh, shoot. Well, did I play her now? I did. Uh, all right, after you play Black Cat, discard the top two cards of your deck, add each with a printed energy resource. No, and no. All right, actually it was pretty decent to discard those anyway, so I'm glad that I did that. So we don't have to add those to our hand. Um, as I said, two attack, one attack. She doesn't take any consequential damage because she's awesome. So that's three damage. This goes to one. And we're going to discard these. Now we're going to drop to five, three, four, and five. I don't think yet I'm ready to flip him, but I might have to just to use these cards in my hand. We'll see. We'll figure it out. All right, this is going to three. This is going to two. No, I'm not gonna flip them yet. Here comes our encounter card. Um, when revealed, he's discard the top card of your deck for each um, counter. On, so I discard two cards, one and two. Oh man, I want an unflappable. All right, it's our turn. Let's. What should we do? We can't play Gwen. We could play the Swing and Web Kick, right? Um, but that'll flip him. And I'm not necessarily completely worried about it because I have these two. I'm not completely built up yet, though. So maybe I shouldn't. I think I'll just hold on to these two for another turn. And I'm just going to have to discard these. I hate holding cards. But... Maybe we should flip him. We have these cards, right? These will help us out. Not as much as I want to. No, you know what? Let's take it slow. I've lost to him for doing nonsense before. So uh, I will thwart for one, bringing that to two. I'll attack for one, bringing that to one. I'm going to discard these three. And we're going to draw up to... We're going to draw in three more cards. One, two... And three, I think I'm gonna have to attack him. Uh, I don't seem to be getting the cards that I need. And uh, all right, so we're gonna ready up. This will go to three, this will go to two. Here comes our encounter. Uh, attached to the enemy with the highest hit points. So he'll have that, but he's not gonna be using it against us for a bit. I don't have two energies to get that out of the game yet and I so I can't use spider like there's so many things that I can't do right now I guess I might as well just attack him right or it's just discard the whole hand um let's discard the whole hand except for strength 
and spider. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll discard these three. I'll move a threat. I'll attack for one, and I'm done. So I'm drawing three cards. Oh my god. Yay! All right. We're making progress. This goes to three. This goes to two. We get an encounter card. He gets another one. All right. So he's going to be strong unless we take care of that. But we will play our Warrior of the Great Web. Oh, wait. I have to ready these. We'll bring out Spider. She will do her job attack for one bringing that to one these are and mental and i will thwart for one i'm gonna discard these two whatever all right we're drawing up to five one two three four and five we sure do have nothing that's helping us at all all right, this is going to three. Where are all my cards to build? Uh, this is going to two. Here comes our encounter card. All right. When revealed, choose to either give the villain a face down boost card or two infamy counters on the Chrono Enterprise. Why would I ever not put the infamy counters on it? Uh, these ready up. I apologize from the previous turn. All right. You have three health, little criminal. Hired gun. Okay. So what are we going to do? We are going to... Now we can start making some moves. Let's... Exhaust the ingenuity to get a web shooter out. All right. We'll use the web shooter to put out our second hard to ignore. Uh, then we will thwart, let's make sure, uh, yep, I'll make sure I'm doing this correctly. I haven't played her in a couple weeks. Thwart for two, since she took extra consequential damage, she comes back into my hand. This goes to one. I draw a card because of this, right? Oh, no, 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 no. I don't draw the card yet. That's the other one. But Spider-Man does get... Uh, plus one attack. So Spider-Man's got three attack right now. We will bring Spider out with this. All right. See how awesome she is? Uh, then we will attack for three, getting him off the game. Attack for one, bringing that to three. And I'm going to discard... Uh, I'm going to start both of these because he's not attacking me yet. All right. Did I do anything with you? I'm going to attack for one. Bring that to two. All right, so we're drawing up to five. One, two, three, four, and five. All right. Readying up. This goes to two. This goes to three. Our encounter card has two threat on it. We are going to use the spider tracer to get another web shooter out. Can you see that one? I like to double these up. I don't really think it matters. Like, I would put five on this and just keep one out, but I don't know. For the stream, I'll... I'll leave it as is. Uh, you know I gotta get flow like water out. And I'm gonna hold on to the back flip because we're gonna flip him very soon. So we will use our ingenuity. Oh, hang on a second. Um, yes, I can do all that. We're gonna use our ingenuity. We'll pay our desperate defense to bring out flow like water. All right. I'm actually just gonna put this under him because I don't need to tap it or anything. So anytime I play a defense card, he takes a damage. I'm also gonna put this under him as well. Um, 
just so I can clear some space. All right. Uh, now I'm going to thwart for two with spider. This comes out of the game. Uh, let's see. That comes out of the game. Spider's back in my hand. I'm going to use the um, one web shooter to bring that to one, one to bring this to two. We will put Spider back out with two health. She'll attack for one, bringing this to two. Black Hat will attack, bringing this to one. I will thwart, bringing this to one. And we have a Black Flipper holding. All right, so we're gonna draw up to four. Two, th we're not drawing up to four, we're drawing five. Um, man, the one card I want is down here. I can't believe that. All right, what are we doing? We're readying up. This is gonna go to two. This is gonna go to two. I'd like to get those off, but I can't. Um, here comes our encounter card. We get another one of those. Do I really have, ooh, I can remove that with that. That, I might do that. All right, what are we doing? We need to exhaust ingenuity to get our armored vest out. Uh, you know, I, there's too much going on under him. I thought that was a good idea, but there's just too much going on under him. I don't know where to put anything. All right. Um, keep the heart to ignore this. Just trying to make space. Just trying to make space. All right, I think I can leave the um, web warrior under him. All right, I think we're good. So what do I have in my hand? I have these. I'm going to use, I'm holding on to these backflips. So I will use, what am I gonna use? Well, we're going to exhaust her to remove two threat from this, put her back into our hand. Uh, then, oh, I love that right now. Okay, we are going to look around. I really don't want this here. <laughs> I want this over here. All right. I know I just like undid everything that I did before, but there's gotta be an easier way. Maybe if I do it like this, side by side. Yeah, I think that'll work. All right, uh, I'm going to use a web counter. So this is discarded. Exhaust this, use the web counter to bring out auto, right? After I play, I'm gonna put them on this side. After I play auto, um, I can ready a te tech upgrade. So I can ready an upgrade, which will be this tech item. And it's, since it's tech, I draw a card. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Finally. Um, this gets played for free because I'm a web warrior. Now we will uh, use the last web shooter to generate a resource. We will use one backflip to pay for Spider. She's going to attack for one, bringing this to one. Can't do anything else. I'm ready to flip him next turn. I don't have a big attack, but um, I am ready. All right, I kept the Spider Sense because we're gonna get an extra encounter card and I wanna be able to Oh, actually, you know what? Before I flip him, let's see if we can get rid of those somehow. And we sure can. All right, so that's one. I need two more. Come on, shuffle up. Shuffle, why is it getting stuck? All right, uh, two more cards. One and two. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> um, Ready and ready. This is gonna go to three. 
This is gonna go to two. Here comes our encounter card. Treachery. Yeah, I'm gonna just put the two counters on there instead of using the spider sense. Unless I just use the spider sense since hmm. what to do I think I'm gonna flip no I can't flip uh, the reason why I wanted to flip was to generate that resource for that but it, that, that wouldn't work okay is it my turn I put two on there or I could Maybe I don't do that. All right, let's not do that. I'm just going to um, exhaust the ingenuity to pay for the enhanced spider sense to cancel that trait, to cancel that. All right, it is my turn now. And I'm going to... use these two to remove one of these goblin gliders. Then I think I'm going to flip. I think I'm going to flip him. I think it's time. I can try to remove the other one at another point in time, but um, no, it's not time to flip him yet. One more turn. One more turn. Uh, the reason why I say that is... Why do I say that? Because I want Spider on the board. Fresh, I think. Do I? Nah, this game is 20 minutes. We haven't done anything. We're going. All right. Uh, we're going to exhaust Spider to remove two threat. Um, actually, no. I, I don't want to do this yet. Uh, I don't know what to do. Uh, think, 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 think. One more turn. All right. Right. One more turn. One more turn. Maybe not. Uh, because he can remove that. No, one more turn. One more turn. She's going to attack here, bringing this to one. He's going to thwart for one, bringing that to two. He will thwart for one, bringing this to one. And now I'm done. Yeah, now I'm done. All right, we're drawing three. Oh, man, I really wanted a freaking energy card to take that out. All right. I'm committed to flipping on the next turn. This is going to two. This is going to two. Here comes our encounter. Place two infamy counters on here. All right, I, I said I'm committed to flipping, so I'm gonna flip them. All right. So let's flip this guy. How are we gonna flip him? What do we got? We need to deal four damage to that, and then we can flip him. And we can do that by... Well, first we're going to remove two threat with Spider to put her back in our hand. We can draw a card, right? Then we can... So now he's at... Ah. He is at three attack I'm going to because this doesn't say it only needs to be once after web warrior ally yeah this doesn't need to be I can do this multiple times I'm going to attack for two bringing this to two. Oh, did I want to do that yes uh, so he's out of the game did I want to do that yeah, so now Spider-Man's at four. I draw a card. Okay. 
Now we are going to attack for one. So he's at four attack right now. We're gonna attack for one with Black Cat. We're going to use our ingenuity to bring out a web shooters. We're going to exhaust web shooters to generate one, ca one card. Uh, then we will use desperate defense to pay for spider. All right. She's going to attack for one, flipping him. He is now flipped. He has his goblin glider. Uh, but now we flipped state of madness. That comes with two. Uh, I take three indirect damage. I'm taking it. <laughs> or, wait, 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 hang on a second. Hang on a second. <laughs> uh, after a web warrior ally leaves play, get one attack. Hold on a second. <laughs> um, I could put spider back into my hand. Oh my god, I think I'm going to do that. Because that would be hysterical. Um, if I put spider back into my hand... He will be at a five attack. Yeah, let's just see what happens there with that. All right, so I'm going to take two damage. I'm at eight. Uh, he's got the Goblin Glider. She'll take the one. Comes back into my hand. He's now at five, and I draw a card. I don't know. If, I don't remember if I drew. I did draw a card for the auto. All right. What? That's a crazy turn. Okay. So now he's at five attack, five base attack. I wish I had a ready. I wish I could ready him right now. Um, so he's at a five attack. So I'm going to, let's see. I could bring spider back with the, yeah, what a turn. Okay. Uh, we are going to bring spider back for the third time in this round, she'll attack for one, finally dealing damage to him. I will attack for five. Looking at all these things, making sure I need to do, need to do anything. I'm attacking for five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to use these three to swing and web kick for eight. Taking his health to zero. So now we get Green Goblin Phase 2. Sorry. Uh, deal 4 indirect damage to the player. Uh, so his health is now at 18. Uh, 4 indirect damage, huh? 4 indirect damage. I think I can play the backflip now. When you would take any amount of damage from an attack, prevent all the damage. Um, yeah, why not? We'll play the backflip. We take no damage. However, we also played a defense card, so we can deal one damage to him. What a turn. We saved up all that for that turn. All right. We will ready up. We'll draw five, three, four, and five. It is now his turn. This goes to one. He's going to attack for four, for five. Yes. Where do I want it? So he's attacking for five. He's going to attack me for five. I said that a million times. I'm going to probably use both of these. All right, so here's the first one. I'm going to defend, right? He's got a base attack of five. We'll use defiance. When a boost card and enemy attacking you, we turn face up, discard it instead. I've used a Defense card, flow like water will trigger, dealing him one damage. Okay. Uh, so he's still attacking for five. My, I have a base of four. So I'll use webbed up 
uh, to pay for Desperate Defense. Readying him, because now I took no damage. He'll take another damage because of the Flow Like Water, because that was a defense event. And now we get an encounter card. Wait, what happens here? Um, oh, this is if he schemes. Now we get our encounter card. Oh, God damn it. Place two infamy counters on criminal enterprise if you cannot remove two madness counters. You know, he's got to be so annoying. So this flips because we removed the two and it has starts with two now. It shouldn't be a big deal. It's just annoying. Uh, okay. So he flips to Norman now. I think he's just put off his death by a turn. That's basically all that happened. Uh, let's see. So I'm not going to swing and web kick him yet. Um, I will attack for one with Black Cat. I will... Yeah, it doesn't make any sense to do that. I will remove two threat with Spider, putting her back into my hand, drawing a card. Doesn't doesn't do anything for me. Uh, I'll use these two to bring Spider back, and she won't do anything because I don't want to flip him yet. And I'm going to discard this card. All right, we're drawing up to five. That's three, four. And five. This gets one. This goes to two. Here comes our encounter. He attacks me, but he can't. So this goes to three. Now it's our turn. Let's use our spider tracer to put out a web shooter. Uh, then we will, we want to bring out Miles. Um, I definitely want to bring out Miles. How are we bringing out Miles? I mean, it's not too hard to bring him out. Oh, I forgot to ready you. No, yeah, I forgot to ready you from the last turn. You've got three on you. What's the easiest way to do this? Um... We'll use a web shooter. We'll use a web shooter. That's two resources right there. We'll use the ingenuity. We'll bring out Miles, who has three health. And he's got four attack on him. So I will, I'm going to try to do as much damage as I can. So I'll attack two with Spider-Man, bringing this to one. Um, I'm going to attack for one with Spider, flipping him. So that's got two on it. We take four indirect damage because we flipped him. Um, we'll put two of the indirect damage on Miles. No, we'll put one indirect damage on Miles. So I have three more to deal with, right? Uh, I'll take him. So I'll go to five. Uh, Miles still has a four attack, right? Because I haven't used him yet. So he'll attack for four. One, two, three, four. Black Cat will attack for one. And uh, that is the end of my turn. Yep, yep, yep. That is the end of my turn. All right, so we're drawn to five. Four and five. All right, readying up. Ready, 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 ready. This goes to two. He's attacking for five. Um, 
Yeah, we'll block with Miles. He's got one health left. Uh, Miles is going to defend for us, so he's attacking for five. What is this? Place one. Oh my god. Remove a madness counter? Come on, man. If this thing flips again, I'm going to be so annoyed. Don't flip. Attach to him. All right, fine. Uh, after the villain attacks you, discard pumpkin bombs, take two indirect damage. Whatever. Okay. We are going to attack him for two with Spider-Man. One, two. Use these three. Pay for a swing web kick, web kick for eight damage. And he's dead. All right, just want to add a little post-game discussion about that. So he wasn't that hard. He was actually pretty easy, right? Uh, you saw what I meant about him not being able to hurt us when he's Norman. He couldn't do anything. You know, we just took it slow. We kept the stated madness counters around one or two because he isn't doing anything to us. It was annoying, though, when he kept on having to flip because we kept on taking it. The only time he hit us was with the indirect damage. Aside from that, we took zero damage from him. So this deck was really strong. This Spider-Man deck, you saw how insane that web, uh, the Warrior of the Great Web with the Web of Life and Destiny and the Spider can be. I brought her back three times in one round, giving Spider-Man a plus five. That's wild. Uh, I've actually never seen that before. So I'm I'm going to, like, say, I mean, I save all my decks, but I'm going to put this one particularly through the ringer because it was really, really strong.